that's suggesting that was obviously inadequate. But when you talk to uh, Director Ray about appointing this high-level group and efforts to ensure that this doesn't happen again in 2020, um, has he expressed any concern to you that kind of re the review that you're now going to undertake or this investigation of the investigation, that that could hamper uh, these efforts until in, in 2020? We've discussed how important it is that that not be allowed to happen, and we're both very cognizant of that. And You've discussed that with him? Oh, yes. And, you know, I think he's being very supportive, and we're working together on, on you know, trying to reconstruct what happened. I mean, people have to understand, you know, one of the things here is that these efforts in 2016, these counterintelligence activities that were directed at the Trump campaign were not done in the normal course and not through the normal procedures, as far as I can tell. And uh, a lot of the people who were involved are no longer there. So uh, so when, when we're talking about the um, kind of the, well, you've used the word spying. Mm -hmm. You've testified that you believe spying occurred yes. into the Trump campaign. Yes. Um, you've gotten some criticism for using that word. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's become a dirty word somehow. It has never been for me. I think there's nothing wrong with spying. The question is always whether it's authorized by law. Uh, and properly predicated. And uh, if it is, then it's an important tool the United States has to protect the country. The, on using the word, I mean, do you understand, and I know that some of the, uh, some former intelligence chiefs have said the president has made that word somewhat pejorative, uh, that they're spying, this is a witch hunt, this is a hoax. And so your use of that word makes it seem that you're uh, being a loyalist. Uh, you know, it's part of the craziness of the modern day that if a president uses a word, then all of a sudden it becomes off bounds. It's a perfectly good English word. I'll continue to use it. <laughs> You're saying that spying occurred. There's not anything necessarily wrong with that as long as there's a reason for it. it, it whether it's adequately predicated. And look, I, I think if we, if we, why are we worried about foreign influence in a campaign? We should be because... Uh, the heart of our system is the peaceful transfer of power through elections. And, and what gives the government legitimacy is that process. And if foreign elements can come in and affect it, that's bad for the republic. And it, uh, but by the same token, it's just as, as, just as dangerous to the uh, you know, continuation of self-government in our republican system, a republic uh, that we not allow government power, law enforcement or intelligence power to play a role in politics, to intrude into politics and to affect elections. So, so it's just as dangerous. So when we talk about uh, foreign interference versus, a say, a, a government abuse of power, mm -hmm. yes, which is more troubling? Well, they're both, they're both troubling. Um, Equally. In, in my mind, they are, sure. I mean, republics have fallen because of Praetorian Guard mentality, where government officials uh, get very arrogant. They identify uh, the national interest with their own political preferences, and they feel that anyone who, uh, you know, has a different opinion, uh, you know, is somehow uh, an enemy of the state. And, uh, you know, there is that tendency that they know better uh, and, uh, you know, that they're there to protect as guardians uh, of the people. That can easily translate into essentially uh, supervening the will of the majority and getting your own way as a, as a government official. And you have concern that that may have happened in 2016? Well, I just think it has to be carefully looked at uh, because the use of uh, foreign intelligence capabilities and counterintelligence capabilities against an American political campaign to me is unprecedented and it's a serious red line that's been crossed. Did and that happen? There were, there were counterintelligence activities undertaken against the Trump campaign.